Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Myself Malkari Santosh. Hope all are doing fine. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss about one important Selenium challenge. So regarding dynamic X path in Amazon application. So this was asked many times in the automation testing interviews. So today we're gonna discuss it and we can also implement it in IntelliJ. Before driving to the session, I would like to ask so please subscribe to my channel so that it will boost me to provide more such videos like this and also share the knowledge across the friends, families and also relatives who are uh, deliberately looking for the selenium opportunities. Here we go, I am in the Amazon e-commerce application. So this is the home page. So you can also see there is a search bar right here. So I am going to search for iPhone 14. So let me search for iPhone 14. Okay. And let me click on the search. So once I clicked on search, so it gave me the yeah, wide variety of iPhone 14 results. And you can see there are uh, multiple number of mobiles displayed with the cost and also the colors which we have here. And so today I gonna tell you how to retrieve the amount which is the cost of the iPhone by using the name of the particular mobile. Okay, so the requirement here is I will give the name of the mobile and it should retrieve the cost of the mobile. Okay, so uh, it's it's a quite complex thing in Amazon. Uh, application here because it was designed in such a way like so uh, there are a lot of uh, HTML code right there so if I go to inspect element and you can see uh, so there are a lot of code written uh, in different JavaScript language okay but we can do it uh, using dynamic X path in a quite simpler way okay so let me show you how we can achieve this okay how we can achieve this using dynamic x path okay so here we can write the dynamic x path okay so let me take any one of the mobile name here so for example i am taking the mobile name so this is the product red from my apple iphone so let me copy this okay so let me write uh, you all know the basic syntax of x path right so we are using double slash star star can came across any tag in HTML. So I'm gonna use text here to represent the text, the mobile name. Okay, so you can see uh, we got a we got the X path of the mobile name. Okay, there is only one search result we got. Okay, so now we need to achieve. So if you see, so if you see the div of the parent of the particular name of mobile okay so under this div we have three more divs okay in the first div we have the name of the mobile in the second div we have the rating in the third div we have the amount and also other categories now we need to traverse from the first div to the third div and we need to get the amount of the mobile okay so in order to do that first we need to traverse from span tag to the parent tag of the div okay so how we can do that so first we need to traverse from span to a tag which is the parent and from a to h2 which is the parent of tag a and from h2 to div okay let me traverse it so we can use parent tag here which is a so you can see we have we go we have entered into a tag which is highlighted so whenever we write a syntax it will be highlighted in yellow to show the results okay now we need to go to the parent of a which is h2 okay now we are in h2 and later we need to go to the parent of h2 which is div okay so you can see we have only one result as of now and we have traversed from the parent of the div so from here you need to traverse to the the third div which is the sibling of the first div okay these are all the siblings of the same parent 
okay so this sibling is the first one and second one and third one so let me traverse from first sibling to third sibling so in order to traverse we can use the following sibling tag so all this called as a xpath access so the parent the following sibling all these are the uh, xpath access okay so the following sibling so the tag name is div okay so div of the i think it's a second sibling so i am added as do so ooh, we have done something wrong so sibling okay so i i made a mistake with the typo so so now we entered into the second div okay so it's a nice it's not a nice practice to write the number directly instead we can write the class name so we have a class name called uh, sg row right so i will name it as sg row okay so let me write as the rate class so let me write as the rate so now we are in the second div so with the class name so if i open the class okay and if i see the element of the amount so it's so it it's the parent of it's a grandparent of div okay so if you see the uh, span code here which have the amount so it's a grandparent of this div so directly we can traverse from div to this span using the descendant because this is a descendant of the div tag okay i will use descendant so it's a span okay but it has 34 searches okay but we need the exact search so we can use the class name here which is the whole price okay so let me use this okay now if you see if i click enter it is now showing the amount so it is showing the amount of 87000 so it is highlighted here okay if you see if i just write the syntax of this it's highlighted the now if i want the mobile so which has uh, okay uh, i can take the this mobile so let me copy it and let me paste in our syntax so it should show the amount of it should be highlighted like 79900 amount should be highlighted so if i just use these so you see how powerful the dynamic uh, xpath is so directly it has highlighted 79900 it is having only one single search so that is that is the power of uh, dynamic xpath using xpath access so i already have a kumar framework uh, which was developed by me so so let me copy this syntax and use that syntax uh, in the kumar framework to traverse from the application to get the amount okay so let me open by intellij okay so i already had a feature so the feature represents uh, so it's for the search for specific iphone and it have cost in amazon application so we have a given then when statements uh, so it's a easy go when we are using cucumber so if you are not aware of cucumber it's okay uh, but so this is how it was designed so we need to write the statements in the normal english uh, manner so we need to write the step definitions uh, so where we have the actual code so so these are the statements right now so user searches for iphone 14 and uh, once it is searched so the result should be displayed and user need to identify the particular mobile name and it should get the cost of the mobile okay so it's pretty simple what we have done manually right now so it's going to automate so before that we need to give the iphone model and also the cost so let me take a iphone model so for example or uh, let me take a name of this mobile which is blue so let me take the mobile name or uh, paste it here okay and uh, let, what is the cost of the mobile so uh, we need to assert the statement so if it is uh, actually pulling the correct value or not okay so so let me copy this paste it here and let me take one more value okay so i will take the one more mobile so which is straight okay just all right and let me copy it here 
and the amount is uh, it's 107560 okay so let me do the formatting so that it looks great okay now so we have provided the model names and cost of it so let me show the step def what i have done so so if i go to the step def so it will search for the item and it will click on submit once it is submitted so it will capture the results so whether we are in the right page or not here we are now uh, taking the name of the iphone model and we are searching the amount okay so in this method so i have provided the syntax uh, which was just written before okay this was the syntax so here i am passing the mobile name so using the string argument so that it will be called from the step def okay so once it is called so it is same as we have written here so the entire thing is same the only thing is we are passing the parameter okay so now it should identify the element and it should retrieve the web element which is the cost so it's a web element okay so i have uh, mentioned as a iphone cost okay now it will do the assertions okay so if it is true okay so if the assertion is true like uh, iphone dot get text get text will return the amount of the iphone and it should be equal to the cost of the mobile so which came from the argument so we already gave the cost right so it should be 107530 so it should match with the amount which was retrieved using the export okay or else it will fail the test case so this was a, a simple feature and step def uh, which i have created so in order to run this we can run it uh, here itself okay so we need we need to run here so we can use run so we need to specify where are the step definitions okay i have created in the glue as a steps okay and uh, i'm using jdk 11 okay so let me close this and let me run this okay so if i run this so it should build the project and it should launch the application okay so it's taking some time to build the project yeah it started building the project okay so it started so okay so now it's launching the browser okay okay it launched the browser so it should navigate to amazon website and it should enter the result as the iphone 14 then it should enter the name of the iphone then you should go to the particular model yeah and the first test case is done and it's going to the second test case okay so as it is a scenario outline it should uh, it should do the executions as per the examples which you have given we have two examples so it will do the executions for two times okay so both the examples uh, have been passed here example one and example two okay so if i open example one so so it retrieves the cost which is 107530 which is correct and the second example so it should retrieve the 107 and 560 which is also correct okay so this is how we have retrieved the cost of the particular iphone uh, let me try to run in uh, maven command and show you the detailed report which was generated so i'm using the terminal to run the maven command so i'm using maven test and I have a profile so profiles are nothing but uh, we can uh, switch to any particular profile to run our particular test so I am using test profile okay so don't worry about the profile so I am just running the maven command here so maven test so will so maven maven is a build management tool so so it's uh, a very quite common tool using via automation testing in our framework okay so it will compile the tests and then it'll execute the project so it has compiled and it started executing so you can see the browser has been launched and uh, so it will do the pretty uh, same thing which we have done in the scenario level so it will run the scenarios so so it will compare the test cases then it will 
provide the detailed report so okay we can also generate some fancy reports uh, so i will also show you that so we can also generate some pdf reports for our execution as well okay so let let it be done so so it's doing the second test case so i think the second test case also got paused so now it's now creating a a detailed report to us so oh, let it be done okay so yeah so you can see the test two test cases and no failures and the build got success okay so and uh, it says like uh, it also generate the cucumber report so it will be generated in the target folder so we'll be having cucumber html reports page okay there we will be having these uh, things okay so if i open the feature level so open in explorer so this is the html code okay so so if i open these html report okay you can see so this is our uh, html report so this is our feature name which is such iphone in application so which is the same so such iphone so this is pretty same and if you open this feature they will be having two test cases so this is our first test case and this is our second test case so you can see in the first test case we have given the apple iphone 512 gb blue and second one is starlight so with the amounts okay so it's pretty same so we got the detailed report and also each for each report we'll be having the screenshots also attached so if something uh, we can check in the reports in detail level so this is exact mobile so you can see the mobile name here and also you can see the, the amount uh, which is 107560 so which was captured so it will be the pretty same screenshot and this is the second scenario so which is for the second mobile so it will be having the different mobile name which is a uh, starlight uh, so let me show it to you so it will be the second mobile name 512 gb starlight so the amount is 107560 so 107560 so it, the two test cases have been passed and uh, we have a detailed uh, kumar report as well okay so this is all about the dynamic XPath and uh, using those uh, XPath access to create our uh, own, uh, own XPath to identify the element and fetch the details of the particular element. Okay. Hope you have enjoyed this session and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further videos. Okay. Thank you everyone. We will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.